What's going on dreamers? My name is Acer and in this video I'm going to show you two ways to find the distance between two objects. All right, let me show you guys the setup. Let me explain to you guys the setup I have here before we get started. Uh, it's just two cubes. Uh, it's two cubes. They're both grabbable by the imp. They both have physics on. Um, these microchips are completely empty and then in this third microchip it's just a number displayer. Um, so Let's get started. Let's go. Let's go to the first method. The first method is two tags. It's two tags, um, and you take the translation from both tags and you subtract it. You then take that fat wire and put it in a number displayer. Now, doing this will get you the distance between the two tags. It's, it's that. It's that simple. So we have two tags. We need to split. We need to split the scene space transform. So we have access to the translation. And let's do the same thing for the other one. And as I said, all you do is subtract the two translations. Doesn't matter which one is on top and which one's on bottom. We want to subtract. We want to subtract. And if we put this resulting fat wire, it's going to be a fat wire because we're subtracting two fat wires. Uh, if we put this resulting fat wire into the number displayer, the number displayer will, will output uh, will output the distance. So if we just go into play mode and you can see this is indeed the distance. The second method we're going to go over is using a laser scope. So if you didn't know, if you didn't know, a laser scope has not only a hit position output, but it also outputs hit distance. So how do we get this laser scope to always point at this object? Well, if we put a tag in this object, let's name the tag, I don't know, it doesn't really matter, test, I guess. And then make this laser scope always point at the tag test. And obviously we need to make this long enough. So it's always going to be pointing at this tag. We It's important to make this tag the center of this object. We, we only want the laser scope to hit this object. Nothing else. Um, so let's make it unique. How about target machine? How about that? So the laser scope is only going to be hitting. Uh, it doesn't matter. It <clears throat> doesn't matter here. Detection mode doesn't matter. But it's only going to be detecting the labels target machine obviously it can be any combination of labels this is just the one i chose and x-ray is on okay now um no matter where this where these two objects are this laser scope is always going to be only hitting this cube um and now all you do is output the you output the hit distance that's that's literally it there you go so this is the this is the other way to do to do distance. This way obviously has some downsides. It's dependent on the labels and it uses a laser scope which which can get expensive if you have a lot of these. In my opinion the first method is is better. The first the first method with um with the tags is better only because it, it's like foolproof, right? It, it's going to work always. Um, the issue with the labels is that you might be using labels for your game or something, and, and it'll, it, it could interfere. Uh, the, the laser scope that's shooting could, could hit something else on accident. Um, so this way, in my opinion, is by far the best way if you're trying to find distance between two objects. So guys, uh, I really hope you learned something from this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you need uh, additional Dreams help, I stream Dreams on Twitch on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. If I'm not streaming on Twitch, you can find me on my at my Discord or Twitter. But anyway, guys, I hope to see you later, and have a great rest of your day. I just want to be with you. I just want to be with you.